Three weeks to the elections and the political heat is soaring. The ANC and National Freedom Party members faced off in the ruling party stronghold of Lamontville in KwaZulu-Natal. The police placed themselves between the two groups to prevent a showdown. The ANC is a ruling party, but they failed to show us a quality of a ruling party. I don't think they deserve to rule this country because they don't understand what democracy is. No one attacked anyone in a manner that would say uh, it was violent of some sort. Because as the ANC, we understand very well the, 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 the fact that each and every party has to converse as we approach the local government elections. In Valcom, the ANC's campaign head attended the funeral of compatriot Tseli Solifapang. It soon resembled a party rally, and the song at the center of the case against the ANC Youth League boss reverberated. Fikile Mbalula went on to accuse DA leader Helen Ziller of insinuating herself on the struggle. Helen Ziller was shouting names of our heroes down and down as if it was, was part of us when we were fighting in the struggle. In Cape Town, the DA and ANC mayoral candidates addressed two separate functions. Speaking at an interfaith prayer meeting in Langa, Imrach spelled out his vision for an integrated Cape Town. When we take over the city of Cape Town, we will build houses for our people from Langa and Alsis River in Constantia and in Cape Town. And the DA's Patricia De Lille says corruption is at the heart of the poor people's suffering. The next 17 years will have to be focused on dealing with corruption because it steals from the poor and making sure that the bulk of our resources is directed towards making and giving a better life for all the poor people in our country. Meanwhile, Aaron Reich continues his scrap with the DA-led city over the Cape Town Stadium. He accused it of sidelining the May Day rally with exorbitant costs and threatened to invade the premises. His federation is now taking the council to the local government association. But the city says it's already cut 75% of the hiring cost. The DA also questioned Ehrenreich's mayoral potential after he threatened to break the law and demanded the expropriation of city funds for a Casato rally. Opposition parties are fixing their sights on the Nelson Mandela Bay Metropole. The DA and COPE have launched intense campaigns here, while the UDM is contesting all the ANC-led wards. The fact that uh, the opposition parties are flocking Port Elizabeth is precisely because the ANC has failed dismally to bring services to the people in this area.